Where does the negative self-talk in your head come from? It comes from the outside. That's where it starts. So when you have kids that are browbeaten by parents, nagged by parents, always making comparisons to your older, brighter, stronger, faster, more charismatic sibling, when they always make those comparisons, you learn that. In the same way that you learn slang and you learn the language that you speak at home, you learn that kind of self-talk because other people speak to you that way. So if you look at some of these relationships like therapy or coaching or even intimate friendships, intimate romantic partners, mentors, mentees, as people start treating you non-judgmentally, you will learn how to look at yourself non-judgmentally. And by going through yourself, your life historically and sort of recognizing how your shame builds up over time as we start to rewrite that history, reinterpret those events, the idealistic self will start. And the idealistic self starts to decrease the shame, decrease the shame, the gap, the gap. simply churning story after story after story, conversation after conversation after conversation with people that we think are real, but are really just creations in our own mind. So if you can see this, just simply say, oh, I'm in an imaginary conversation. And in that second, let it go. Shut up! Shut up!